Welcome back to another video, another shoot today. Um, so, weekend, overcast, cold, windy, not excited. This whole week, super sunny, super nice, hit the 70s, really cool. Um, well, technically it's not cool. You know what I mean? I, I like the warm temperatures or the warmer temperatures and having that in February for me, pretty nice. Anyway, today's shoot is a uh, school sports team portraits, so a portrait shoot, but like sports oriented. I did their shoot last year and it went really well, super easy uh, because their gymnasium was as bright as it is in here. To give you an idea, if you're like into this kind of spec stuff like I am, uh, I'm on the M6 Mark II a crop sensor and it's at ISO 400 with my lights. In essence, the gymnasium was the same kind of situation. The lighting was great. There were these big tube LEDs everywhere, so everything was nice and soft. There really weren't too many shadows on the floor, but it still gave you enough kind of like depth and shadow in like your, your features to like make a really nice shot. So I was, at that time, extremely shocked at how well the lighting was in there. But I don't know if it's gonna be the same this year. I don't know if we're gonna be in the same gymnasium. I don't know if we're ever doing a shoot in the same area. If, if, if we are, great. If not, I am bringing my lighting set. The same one I brought last time, minus one light, cause I'm not bringing three lights anymore. I used to, cause I, I like to you know go over the top for, for lighting, but I gotta carry this stuff. I might have to walk a bit. So I wanna make sure I have a, the least amount of gear that I can bring within reason. So. Let's, um, I'm gonna switch. We're gonna go talk about gear real quick and then we're gonna come back here. First and foremost, you know, I'm bringing the R6 with the 24 to 105. I have my mount adapter thingies for my stands. I got my two 685Cs. Um, they have batteries. I have two sets of extra batteries just in case. And then this has two extra double A's for this. My Godox XT2. Got batteries in it, it's ready to go. That's gonna trigger these guys. I'm also bringing my dumb diffusers, my Godox dumb diffusers. Because they will get me that nice soft lighting if I need. And I don't have to bring a big umbrella to bounce things off, which is what I prefer. But these work really well and are great in a pinch. And especially, especially if you don't have a bunch of space. Then I got my stands, just cheap basic stands. And then I have my low pro. I think this is the 450W Mark II bag. That's going to hold everything. Under here, I got my little wheelie cart thing. So I don't have to carry this big giant bag with a bunch of stuff in it through a big parking lot and such. For the most part, that's going to be it. Uh, extra battery, extra cards, that kind of stuff that you would normally take. Uh, Multi-tool, that stuff. But gear wise, that's, that's, that's the gist of what I'm taking. Um, I'm probably gonna opt to use lights this time just cause, you know, just to, to make them look even nicer than last year. Uh, we're gonna do one light, uh, 45 degree angle, top-ish down, not super high cause these are, you know, little ones. Uh, and then depending on how everything lays out and how much room I have, I will probably do like a kicker or a, or, or, or maybe just like a fill. I don't know, it just, it just depends. I'm gonna look at things, uh, probably do a kicker light behind further back a little bit obviously off view of the camera but just to get a nice kind of like not like a halo lit but just behind to give them a little bit more contrast and bounce them a little bit further out from the background depending on where we're at but that's that's the gist might not even use it probably won't use it but that's 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 the gist of it Did you see that sunset? That sunset was quite amazing. The drive, not so much, but the sunset was quite amazing. Um, quick wrap up for today's shoot. Um, obviously, I didn't have time to, to kind of show you my setup because I they were they were ready to go as soon as I got there. Uh, I got there a little bit early, but they were anticipating me getting there early, which was kind of neat. Um, so yeah, we we shot a little bit early and ended a little bit early because we started a bit early 
Uh, so here's a quick, quick recap. I ended up using lights just because I felt like using lights and I thought they would come up better that way. And they they did because, you know, lighting is nice. Um, they, they, they did end up a bit better than last year. Last year they ended up really nice, but a little bit better with lights. Um, plus we, you know, everything was sectioned out. They, they kind of knew what they were doing this time, uh, which helps. Uh, so they had a little bit, we had a little bit of a team kind of blocking. Let me, let me recap real quick. Hold on before I even go into this. So it, you know, basketball team, youth, kids, basketball team, uh, a little bit rowdy. Uh, we did have some, some kids, um, kind of blocking the area that we were. So like anytime it's straight basketball or straight, anything kind of went our way. It was taken care of, which was super cool. Super stoked for that. Um, hey, cause there were a few minor spots at the beginning where a ball would come roll by, uh, right by one of my stands and, uh, everyone kind of saw that and went like, oh, okay, no, we, maybe we don't do that. So got a, a group, group of kids kind of front line, uh, protecting all the, the gear and all that good stuff. So pretty fun. Uh, okay. Now let's go over shoot. So for shoot, I had my diffuser, my Godox diffuser, two lights. I did have the one light. Let me see if I can show you. So one 45 degree angle, kind of giving that nice kind of shadow under the chin, if you will. And then instead of doing a traditional kind of like kicker-esque light, um, I, I balanced it between the two. So what I did was there was a, a, a wall, like those, those padded walls, you know, in the in gymnasiums. Uh, had their logo, their their team logo on there. Uh, I pointed the light kind of 45 between them, b between the subject and the wall, uh, so I can get a nice little shine on their logo, but still kind of illuminate the side and kind of pop them out a little bit more uh, to give them a nice little, nice little light. So again, not not a, not quite a kicker because I was kind of making it. A little bit more kind of like that to kind of hit a little bit of them but not really how you would place it for like a, a kicker light or anything like that um, but still giving them a nice little accent on one side but it illuminated the logo perfectly so we had this nice kind of dome of um what what's the word i'm looking for we had a nice um a nice kind of vignette and that logo was kind of popping behind them. Granted, it was blurry, F4, bit of distance, uh, 85 mil-ish for most of the shot. Uh, but they came out super nice, super stoked with how everything came out. Um, because I used flash, they, the, the edits were super quick because everything balanced for flash and the lighting was almost perfect uh, out, of the, out of the camera. Just had to do a few minor adjustments to said vignette and a couple Photoshop touches uh, for some special special things that we set up uh but yeah simple shoot real quick real easy uh it helped that you know everyone was kind of already expecting what happened last year uh and super stoked they got to use my lights this time granted last time was a lot uh more quick but i just i prefer using lights when i have time uh when the budget allows it and uh when i have space for it yeah, that's it. That's it for right now. Got to shoot tomorrow. Um, two, two in a row, not three. I made sure to uh, block off the day after. So one more shoot tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be cold. So it's going to be a, a little tricky because it's a, it's a family coming in from out of town. They're, we're going to try to shoot in the hotel. Um, sometimes that works. Sometimes that doesn't. So we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, then... All I'm gonna do is bring one light. I'm gonna put that on the camera because I don't think I can carry a stand with me. If I can, I will. But usually when you start setting up lights and stuff like that, hotel staff will kind of say, stop that. Even if even if it's a, a family, a rather larger size family staying there, um, they, they don't care. <laughs> so worst case, I can pop this on top of the camera, angle it as needed. I'll, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna bring my Godox dome diffuser because that always helps a ton, especially um, in situations like that where I probably won't have a nice bounce white ceiling or bounce white wall that I can use. So it'll work out. I'll try to explain a little bit more if I have an opportunity to. And yeah, best case we can shoot outside, but it's gonna be in the 40s. 
They don't want to be outside. I don't want to be outside. Bring a flash. I might bring a stand if I can. I have a nice little compact one, so we might do that. But that'll be the next video. For now, I gotta go. I'm tired. It's late. I did all these photos super quick. So, tired. I gotta go. Like, share, subscribe if you want. If you don't, I don't care. You do you. Okay, bye.